Hi guys! So we are outside the beautiful Aga Khan Palace. Now this was built by Sultan Aga Khan III in 1892. Now this place is really important. After the Quit India movement, Gandhiji and a lot of the leaders from the nationalist movement were actually imprisoned here. They were under house arrest for a really long time. Gandhiji's wife, Kasturba Gandhi, actually even died here. So there's lots of history in this building. Let's go learn some more and take a closer look. So the main building has been converted into the Gandhi National Memorial. Uh, there are lots of pictures, paintings and the room that Gandhiji actually lived in while he was here with his things intact just as they were. Let's go take a look. So Sarojini Naidu actually lived in this room. There you can see the Aga Khan Palace in the good old days. So this is the room that Mahatma Gandhi and his wife Kasturba Gandhi lived in. You can still see his stuff just as it was. The slippers are right there. Uh, there's a little desk there. So that was the Aga Khan Palace. Whether you're a history buff or you just want to take in the beauty of this absolutely gorgeous building, you have got to come here. So we're outside the Pathaleshwar Caves. Now this is one of the oldest sites in Pune. It was built during the 8th century, so let's go check it out. Pathaleshwar caves get their names from two words, Patal meaning underground and Ishwar meaning God. Now this temple was built out of a single basalt rock, just one rock guys. It was not completed because they found some faults uh, is what I assume, but it's absolutely gorgeous just as it is. So those were the Pathaleshwar Caves. This is something even I haven't seen in Pune and they are absolutely gorgeous. You definitely have got to come here. So we're outside the Raja Dinkar Kirkar Museum. Now this museum is one of Pune's hidden treasures. There's lots of history in here. They've got quite a vast collection as well. Let's check it out. Quite a grand entry. These are hair dryers, which is quite interesting. Wow, so this is a dowry box. So the queen actually bought her dowry in this. A lot of stuff. So this is the utensils gallery, clearly. Look at the urns. So, this features utensils from different times. You've got things from terracotta to wood to, you know, metal boxes as well. A very interesting mix, quite a good collection. So this is a coconut grater and that's a sort of Indian noodle making stand. Oh wow, these are little cots for babies. Look at this one. Wow, look at that. Armor suits. There's armor made of fish scales and crocodile skin here as well. Now this is Mastani Mahal, which is the star of the museum, clearly. Mastani was the wife of Peshwa Bajirao the first, and this was what her palace looked like, and they tried to recreate it with the museum. So that was the Kilkan Museum for you guys and this is where our Pune got to see episode ends. Make sure you comment with your favourite place from this episode in the comments and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon. Bye!